Hi, this is Habiba. Welcome to Viva's Canadian Journey. Thank you so much for watching. It's a very chilly day here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. But regardless, today I am going to be talking about one of the provincial nomination programs in the province of Alberta. So let's get started. So before I go into it, coincidentally, Alberta was one of the first provinces uh, my husband and I were actually considering when we started this whole, you know, let's relocate to Canada. Um, we have a few friends there, so we had started making inquiries, we had started asking questions, but you know, as God will have it, Nova Scotia prevailed and we're here in Nova Scotia. But on a more serious note, Alberta is one of those provinces that is very popular for immigrants. This year alone, 2021, the province has welcomed over 40,000 new immigrants. Cities like Al um, Calgary and Edmonton, very, very popular immigrant um, destinations. So it's really worth considering. But let's talk about the Alberta Immigration Nomination Program, AIMP. <laughs> it's quite a mouthful, so let's call it AIMP moving forward. Please don't mix it up with A. AIPP. <laughs> so the AIMP and the stream I'm going to be talking about under this AIMP is the Ex Alberta Express Entry. This should automatically tell you that this um, pathway or this PMP is linked to the Federal Express Entry Profile. So the main criteria for this is that you need to have a valid Express Entry Profile open. Okay, very, very important. Now, one of the reasons I love this stream is because you don't need a job offer to be successful in this stream, which is fantastic because the truth is right now, if you're abroad, you want to get a, a job offer from Canada is quite top. So you don't need that for this stream. Okay, another amazing aspect of this stream is that the CRS score or CSR score that you need in the Express Entry Profile is low. You need a minimum of 300 points. Now, let me tell you, 300 points is doable. It is achievable. So you can be in your 40s, your late 40s, even your early 50s, and still be successful in this stream if you meet other criteria. Okay, because 300 points, honestly, very doable. Unlike other provinces like Ontario, where you need 450 or 460 points and above to be successful, for this AIMP, the Alberta Express Entry Stream, you need a minimum of 300 points. Ask anybody that is doable, that is achievable. Okay, so let's talk about factors that will improve your chances for this stream. Okay, now real quick, before we go into that, if you are successful you know in this stream what's going to happen is that the province of alberta will send you an email through your express entry profile you receive an email that email is called a notification of interest what that email is going to tell you is that alberta has seen something in your express entry profile that they like and they want you to apply directly to them. They'll give you some instructions. So when you receive this email, it's not an automatic, you've gotten your PR. It does not even guarantee you're gonna get it, but it just means it's a step in the right direction, right? Cause they're gonna, it's an invitation for you to apply directly. So let's talk about some of the factors that will improve your chances of even receiving this notification of um, interest email. Like I said, you need a valid express entry profile, okay? Very, very important. Your express entry profile should not be expiring anytime soon. So this is November 2021. If you opened your express entry profile in January, you will not be, you know, successful in this stream okay the federal express entry profile is valid for 12 months now according to the province of alberta to be, improve your chances here your profile should have a valid validity of more than six months 
so if your profile is expiring soon my recommendation will be for you to close it or delete it as the case may be and open a new profile it is free and easy to open or create an express entry profile it will just take you time it usually takes about 30 45 minutes but this is very important so if you have less than six or seven months left on your express entry profile before it expires and you want to be considered for this stream please close it and create a new one okay another very important factor that will improve your chances of you know um, getting an, a notification of interest from the province is that and please listen carefully okay on your express entry profile there's an option there's a question and that question is which province or territory in Canada would you like to reside in now for this question most people choose all provinces because the truth is it's safer to choose all provinces because when you start your Canadian journey a lot of people don't actually know which province they are going to end up in okay and it's just safer to choose all provinces so in case a province like Nova Scotia goes into the express entry stream and they see your profile they see what they like you can get an invite from them or the same with Ontario or another province but what Alberta has stated is that in order to be successful in this stream you need to choose the option of Alberta and Alberta only now this is a bit of a gamble because you choosing Alberta and meeting all the other criteria does not mean that you're going to be successful okay so a lot of people kind of see this as a gamble because once you choose Alberta as your main province that you want to reside when you come here other provinces might just not look at your profile again because you've chosen your profile you've chosen a province Alberta okay so you have to ask yourself that question is this a gamble that is worth taking because once you choose Alberta I can guarantee you that the province of Nova Scotia or another province is not going to be looking at your profile so ask yourself that question but to be successful to improve your chances in this stream you need to choose Alberta and Alberta. you need to pay allegiance to Alberta I think that's what they're trying to say <laughs> they're trying to say okay very very important now like most provincial nomination programs for you to improve your chance of being successful okay your NOC code your work experience your skill set has to be in demand in that particular province however what Alberta have done is they haven't exactly listed NOC codes that are in demand in that province but what they've done is they've listed a couple of NOC codes that are in eligible occupations in Alberta. Okay, off the top of my head, some of them include um, secondary school teachers. So if your current work experience is as a secondary school teacher or as a primary school teacher, or if you're a musician, an actor, an artist, an athlete, you are not going to be successful for this stream because it probably just means the province of Alberta you know has enough secondary school teachers has enough elementary school teachers okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the information that I've talked about in this video I'm gonna put it in the description of this video I'm also gonna put a link that is going to take you to um, a site the IRCC site where you will see all the list of ineligible occupations for this stream what this means is that if your NOC code is in that list please do not apply for this stream because you are not going to be successful so all the link the important information is going to be in the description of this video okay so like I said earlier if you meet all this criteria open your express entry profile you have a minimum of 300 points your NOC code is not in one of those you know the ineligible ones you pick Alberta your express entry profile is not expiring anytime soon what you do next is you wait and hope 
that you receive a notification of interest email from the province of Alberta. Now, the good news is that the province has been having back-to-back -back draws. They've been sending out notification of interest emails to a lot of candidates in the express entry pool. This year, 2021 alone, they've sent out over 6,000 notification of interest emails. They've been, there's been about, I think, three draws in October. There was about three or four draws in September. So the draws have been back to back. They've been very, very regular. So this is one province I'm really, really going to encourage you to um, consider if you meet all of this criteria and good luck with your application if you do decide to um you know consider the province of alberta it is very very cold there let me warn you but uh, you'll survive <laughs> and until next time do take care and keep watching beaver's canadian journey keep the comments uh coming bye Hi, my name is Habiba.